So then, could I actually just rewind a little bit, James, if you could share with us some of the experience that you've had in your career? How have you gotten where you are? Because like me, I think you, I qualified as a software engineer many years ago, and I believe you qualified as an actual engineer, somebody who does, somebody actually does the work and <laughs> not, not sits behind a keyboard um, and pretends to do the work like me. <laughs> um, yeah, lo lovely way to, to think of it. But yes, I, yeah, started my career as an engineer. So I qualified, I did a degree in electrical and electronic engineering, albeit I majored in software and basically cut my teeth as a general engineer. I worked in all sorts of things. I literally made pieces for nuclear submarine, submarines, battery chargers for helicopters, things for electrostatically spraying seed potatoes. It was like, yeah, all sorts of just, but it was a great grounding, which I think has actually set me up for success in many ways. For my first experience in terms of running, growing, exiting a business, I was number six into a business in Nottingham, where I'm, I'm speaking to you today. And we basically invented a new solution around printing best before dates on bags, literally date codes on bags of crisps, whatever it might be. It was, I think, one of those first examples of actually turning up and saying, actually, look, there's a, you've got a completely different problem because people were thinking about reliability of the machinery, but the old jumble printers of stamping on packs were doing all sorts of things like if you're punching holes in packs and there was, there was no ability for any low level traceability. So we basically, we took a business, I say I was employing them, built a product rather than a service, took that um, internationally. Um, took some of the largest orders in that industry in the globe at the time. Uh, a million pounds might not seem a lot now, but that basically was enough to fit out the entirety of um, the 200 plus walkers packaging lines in the UK at that time. We took that on to do a trade sale, worked in a larger organization and gave my experience in terms of working in global sales and marketing. That product is still a global market leader 20 years later. So it was evidence to the job that we did, I'm still proud of. Left, started a software business to actually control packaging machinery back in the days before the cloud. So it was on-premise software, but a very different experience launching a software business. And again, it was about changing things. It's, people make so many mistakes in factories, but they just live with them because they go, it's human error. So they have a computer that tells them what best before they print on a pack. They then write that down somewhere to go and type essentially into another computer on the production line, rather than going, if I can join these two computers together, they didn't think of them as computers because packaging machinery, but join them together, remove human error, and actually have enormous benefits around in terms of shelf life, availability, et cetera. Again, took that on to be another trade sale in parallel with another machinery business at the time. So I actually had my feet in two camps at that point in time. That led me into consulting in the retail space where I had the pleasure of working with some of the big retailers like Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco, and some of their best practice. And led me into the area I've spent the last decade as I was CEO of a company called Supply Pilot, which was helping the major retailers, such as some of our named or Walmart in America or Woolworths in Australia, engage their suppliers to drive change and sustainability. Um, a lot of parallels of how you drive change with sales and marketing, interestingly, because it's about getting people to do what you want them to do. That was a trade sale in the autumn of last year. Uh, since then, I've returned to independent consulting, which I've done in between along the way. So I do business advising, non exclusive directors, chairs, et cetera, as well as business speaking. So the areas that are close to my heart about driving change and sustainability, as well as just general business advice. 